Minister, Minister Moyo. Minister Moyo, do you have anything to say? Well, the thing of Simta Mauko, as you can see, is Nusha Trikuti at Chada. We have zero tolerance to corruption, and this case is still being investigated. But as of now, we have arrested the minister, and he will sleep behind bars. And if these allegations are indeed true, he's going to get fired. Wasumba, Pinda, 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 But you go and draw again. I'm very sorry, one of the Kanganis and that was one of the Yanya paper. So I'm to go and 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 go Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to another episode of the Week in Lockdown, live from my kitchen. It's been another very Zimbabwean week, where Kupe booted out more MDC Alliance MPs, the banks ran out of Mayusa, and the MP for Uzumba Maramba Pungwe said, let us eat elephants. But let's start with the commander of the Defence Forces. When we were out there, uh, we were taught and this remained the position until some time after independence when maybe some of us became a wayward. We were taught to share. Whatever was available was shared equally. And I remember the Rhodesians uh, ran a campaign of um, trying to demonize the guerrilla leaders by, I remember there was a, a uh, some leaflets that they drew where they put a, a guerrilla leader there, sitting there with a big plate full of uh, food and then a subordinate sitting there with nothing. That was all intended to destroy that which we had, uh, that value of sharing that uh, we was uh, being cultivated amongst us. It's unfortunate that uh, after independence, some of us uh, we went wayward and uh, we started amassing wealth, we started in getting involved in corruption and so on. But we were taught to share. And um, it's a value that um, a, a lot of us retain today. That is Defence Forces Commander, General Sibanda, admitting on camera, voluntarily, in uniform, that... After independence, some of us uh, we went wayward and... Uh, and it doesn't stop there, because he then said that some of his comrades we started amassing wealth, we started in getting involved in corruption and so on. Hmm, I wonder who he might be talking about. It's such a weird thing for a man in his position to be saying something like this. Is this a message or a threat? Also, I love how the Zanupia video editors always add that nye, 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 song for added seriousness. It just wouldn't be the same with a Panchoga backtrack. Here's my message to the general. If you're tired and disgusted, imagine how we feel. Instead of acting like a victim, maybe use your position to do something. Talk to your boys. Tell them to calm down with the stealing. Eh, at least for one year so we can breathe. One year chetim dada, eh? Toko, all the MDCs are mine. Kuben has booted out more MDC Alliance MPs from Parliament. This week, she had nine Alliance MPs removed, including party leaders Amos Chibaya and Happy Mochizua. Because who needs multi-party democracy when you have private police bodyguards from the Hurmen? Next, Kube is allegedly planning to recall 14 Harare city councillors, the mayor, and Passion Java. Okay, she's not recalling Passion Java, because only the big guy can do that. Yeah, Winky D. But yes, at a time when the opposition should be united with civil society, the unions, social movements and citizens demanding social justice, radical anti-corruption and dignity for all citizens, instead Kube and Dagi are playing the factions game. Shame. 
the foreign currency auction system came into effect this week and as expected the Zimpwacha to US dollar rate went <laughs> and fuel prices went Odom. and after the civil servants US dollar allowance was announced prices of goods went <laughs> and banks ran out of forex bah. anyone seen affording to buy bread at the moment is definitely into some corruption because chingwa dejima bolas so since this auction system is happening on a weekly basis does this mean that fuel prices will be reviewed on a weekly basis too welcome to mangunjganomics but only it's a sure In our great ideas and innovation segment, the MP for Uzumba says we should eat our excess elephants. Yes, Uzumba legislator Simba Neuta Mudarikwa has called on government to consider opening up butcheries and slaughtering elephants so that citizens can enjoy the meat as a way of decongesting national parks. Innovation. So comrade, you're okay with killing elephants just so you can say kuti murukuchika sadza nenzo. Why are we even entertaining this guy? Just fix the economy man you. Ah, ja presa. Please talk to your people, sha. Eh? Hey? Let's play a fun game. Who wants to be a corrupt millionaire? In this fun new game, Zambia Central Government and the MDC councils battle it out to see who is the most corrupt. So, who is the most corrupt? Yes, you're right. 1 2 3 both of them well the zanu pf government was well represented this week when the rbz and treasury told parliament that they bought land cruisers for 400000 us dollars each when they actually bought them for 110000 dollars uh even if i take the lower figure which is the one supplied by rbz it, it would appear that um the the charge per per land cruiser was over 400000 us would you say this is a fair price for land cruise. Thank you, Rambo. I don't believe that is correct. <laughs> And that's quite an astronomical amount. Um I don't believe that is correct. Uh, these are the figures that we have. And you said as it 2017 <coughs> how much was your average? Uh, 100 100 100 about 110 sir. Oh. Yes. So both the Ministry of Finance and the RBZ have falsified figures which they have given to us. I mean, these are the new maths problems that our children are being taught at school. Minister Majerasi buys a Mercedes for 50,000 US dollars but tells government that he bought it for 200,000 US dollars. How much money did Minister Majerasi have left for his small house? Not to be outdone, the MDC Alliance run city councils have come out guns blazing saying hold on. We are different. We are doing smart corruption. Let's use Marondera City Council as an example. Its councillors made headlines this week as they were caught in massive land scams. The MDC run council was parceling out residential stands for free to themselves. The good thing was that they were also giving stands to their comrades in Zanu PF. Now that's the cross party unity that we need to see my comrades. Not once to stop at mere residential stands as places to live they also demanded free places to die 
Yes, the counselors even demanded free grades. Because you know how the saying goes, be corrupt or die trying. I mean, why do we even bother with these political parties? I think it shows that as Zimbabweans, we need to radically reimagine our politics. We need to see how we can bring it to the grassroots, where power lies more in the people and in the community. How can we build a more participatory democracy that empowers residents, workers, and community members to be more empowered in decision making? We need to take the power back, because if we leave it to these guys, we're finished. Talking of inspiring grassroots activism, our hero of the week is Namatai Kwekweza, a young activist and the director of WeLead. Namatai was arrested for merely expressing her views on the dodgy Constitutional Amendment Bill Number no. 2. And now that she's free, what's she doing? She's still making noise. Um, a lot of weird things are happening. And these weird things are going to disadvantage young people if we don't stand together and if we are not in a position where we are questioning some of these things. So what I just wanted to say, particularly to youth who are already politically active, whether you are from the MDC or you are from zanu -PM, this is a rallying point for us as young people to be in a position where we reject the constitutional amendments because of the reason that the process in itself is extremely rigged. The way things have been done um, is extremely rigged. Because the first thing that I will say is that, um, you know, this thing has been done at a time when there is a pandemic um, and there is a lockdown. Uh, the way the consultations were done is not fair. As we turn, you love us. Ah! We're going to do it in a many way. Don't we just say we go? I really don't know what to do in this country. Do you know the other day in the Hona Prize, you might die for Sindica to show me so to one thousand and something gold? Can you imagine? One thousand? But honestly, I don't know what this country wants us to do as women because mm. it's like people ridicule me just because I'm saying blue way. Mm. And I can't say blah why. Mm. And it's also because my leaders, they're not protecting us. They were raped, but they're not protecting us. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's like when I try to speak out in front of my male friends, I'm ridiculed. Just because mm -hmm. I want to speak it's a out. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's also as women, we won't stop fighting. We won't stop fighting. Won't stop fighting. We are going what? to speak out till the end and one day enough will be enough and our voices will be heard. Saka Isus, Atira Gezo, Gita say, Kutawe. Hmm. Wa kusegele. Sure, you know, you know, you know, Gadzili Kaish. Aye, wa, aye, wa, aye, no, no, zero, and delizio, it's, 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 Last week, there was uproar by the weak viewers when a certain comrade Fatso did not say the word Kurmend in the entire episode, which led many to think that, like Dagi and Toko, he had been bought. Apparently, most of you only watch the week to hear me say Hurmend rather than for my razor sharp political analysis. To say sorry for not saying Hurmend last week, we bring you the Hurmend mashup special. The Hurmend. 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 Thanks for joining us on the weekend lockdown. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week in lockdown. Thank you. Hurmend, 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 Hurmend. And foot sack.